NAM 2019. We're here at Orchestral Tools with Hendrik Schwarzer, who is the CEO. Uh, could you tell us about your company and what you're presenting here at NAM this year? Yeah, of course. Um, Orchestral Tools does virtual instruments, mainly orchestral virtual instruments. And um, we are focused on, um, yeah, especially on the film scoring market. And uh, we have one of the largest virtual orchestra sampled. Um, everything is recorded in Berlin at the famous Telex Studios in, in, in the city. And um, we're using musicians from the yeah, world's best orchestras in Berlin. And um, yeah, we have different um, products new on, on the NAM show this year. Uh, we have Metropolis Arc 4. Metropolis is our series for epic music, trailer music productions. And um, it's a very interesting product because um, it's not those kind of uh, large sections instruments. We really focused on very small sections. Sometimes it's just uh, two or three instruments playing, but um, the way how they perform is very, very powerful, very strong. And uh, that makes the sound overall really huge. So it's it's designed for trailer composers, but um, it's an innovative new way uh, how to um, um, how to encounter this this style of music with just small sections. And um, another new um, collection uh, we're presenting here at NAM is Glory Days Big Band Horns, and it's really designed for um, professional big band writing because we went through the whole thing. We've recorded four individual trumpets, four individual trombones, and a supreme saxophone setup. And we really tried to capture this as consistently as possible to offer a truly professional work desk tool set for big band writing. I'm getting the sense that you have a background in music. I am I right? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm a composer too. And that's why I started Orchestral Tools, um, I think, almost 10 years ago. Because I, I was looking for um, for a tool that enables me to create realistic string li uh, string runs, because all the time it sounded very fakeish. If you try to to go faster with with instruments, and um, our first product was orchestral string runs, and it was a big success. And then we built on that, um, and we started then one year later with the Berlin series, and we really tried to get the finest musicians um, in 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 Berlin and a great sounding hall. The hall is nearly the same size like uh, Abbey Road 1 and um, has really um, each instrument is positioned in their natural position. So if you stack sections and instruments over each other, it really sounds very natural. Well, I think you hit on something very important there, and that is the naturalness of how an orchestra or an instrument should sound. It's very easy, and there are so many samples out there it's very easy to have a, something that sounds superficially like, oh, there's the orchestra, here's the different uh, elements of the orchestra, but to have them sound like they're being actually played by a real player with all the nuances and the emotion that comes out of it is not that easy. And that's where a service like yours, a product like yours comes in, am I right? Yeah, we really take care about um, that a sound overall is very natural. and. I mean, recording a score is something different um, on, um, yeah, instead of recording samples. If you record samples, you always have to imagine how a single note uh, sounds within a phrase. And that's why we try to keep energy and some pressure within each note we record. Because um, musicians, when they see, okay, there is a three bar or four bar long note, they just sit on this note, you know, and the, all the energy is going away. And what we try when we're capturing those instruments is we are telling them, try to lead to the next note. Try to imagine it is within a phrase. And uh, you really have to take care all the time because then it gets lost over an, after, after an hour or so of recording. And then you have to come back to them and to, say, to tell them, try to play a little crescendo here and... Um, that really brings a lot of liveness into the samples and also the editing process is very important because we don't do normalizing. So everything what we record is how we recorded it. So there's no change in uh, volume afterwards or we don't put um, uh, processing on the samples. So the, it's really rough, the recordings itself, but um, we really try to, to do everything to get really a fine tone um, of out of the instruments and that's why we think the concept is really important so um, what to record 
The room is really important because if you have certain uh, frequencies that, that jump out, then that really gets annoying, especially if you stack over a lot of instruments over each other and samples. And I think the musicians itself, um, so which musician you would like to, to capture. Sometimes it makes more sense to, to hire a big band uh, trumpet player instead of having a classical trumpet player. So it, it really depends on, on the concept, on which musician you, you, you take for that. And then afterwards the whole production process, of course. And um, we just decided, uh, or we, we just announced uh, last week, um, a whole new sample player platform. Um, for our orchestral tools instruments, just to go completely new ways with uh, groundbreaking new features. And this will be released later this year and really follow up um, by uh, the content to create also a player that is um, also very intuitive how to deal with articulations, how to deal with instruments. Let's just uh, go to basics here and talk about how someone who is interested in in making a, 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 a very, or is a composer and wants to make a, a recording of their composition with your product, how they would start? Is, would integrate with a DAW? How would it work? You mean before they start the recording itself? How, how they utilize your product to, to make a recording, yeah. So what is the basic setup that they would use and so they could understand what context your, your product works in? So um, probably they, they just start with um, using probably a string patch that is uh, mapped across the whole keyboard. We have that we have that in Inspire, for example. And then they they do all the voicings um, with the individual instruments. And afterwards um, they decide: Am I using uh, key switches to change articulations, or do I do this with um, uh, with, with, uh, with different MIDI channels uh, and afterwards they combine everything in one MIDI track and give this to the orchestrator and um, the orchestrator writes down how to perform this with the real orchestra. I see, I see. So your product would be used as a guide track to actually generate a score to be played with a, with a string orchestra? I mean it depends. I mean we have a lot of users out there who are um, uh, recording all their scores with the real orchestra afterwards. Sometimes it's um, it's it's just the samples itself. Especially if you have low budget productions or productions where you have to be very quick, uh, then you don't have the time to do scores and to do the recording. And I think it's also important um, to 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 mention that uh, if you do um, those certain kind of of uh, of recordings that you can blend our instruments on top of those recordings. So let's say I just take live strings, but all the brass and woodwinds are coming from samples. Very interesting. Now you said you're, this is a package that you're showing here today that would be intended for uh, doing film trailers. What's special about a film trailer as opposed to an another kind of score? I mean, for a film trailer, it's... Um, you're really looking for a very um, uh, for a very huge experience. So you really want to convince the, um, the the audience to watch the movie or whatever. So it has to be a little bit over the top, and that's why we created Metropolis, the Metropolis Arc series for. So really tried to um, capture um, uncommon sections of instruments. So let's say. 12 basses playing together with six celli, what we did with Metropolis Arc 1. And normally you have just the opposite, you have less bass players and more cello players. And that really gives a very bold and very dramatic sound to it. And um, we did this very extensively over this series and uh, especially the, the trailer music community really trusts in our products because they have a very unique sound. Uh, and not only huge, sometimes you also have, have a choir in it that really sticks out. We, we put a lot of opera choir singers within our choir and that's why it sounds very bold, for example. But in the other edition, we are going for very um, atmospheric character uh, of, of um, choir sound. And then we choose completely different people to perform. So I think um, we don't go with... Um, uh, with processing afterwards, but we really take care about what we record and uh, in which um, combination, in which arrangement. And that that's quite an interesting field. 
It takes a long time. People think, oh, I'm, you're just recording an orchestra or recording an instrument, but to actually do a deep sample, uh, it takes a lot of time, does it not? You mean the sampling itself? Yes. Um, I mean, we, we really try to speed up things. Um, we developed our own audio uh, sample workstation software where we do all the editing in it. When we started, we did everything in Cubase. Um, so we really uh, set each cut um, uh, individually and we, go, we went through another software to do the mapping and whatever. And now we really have a very streamlined process with custom software. And um, that's really straightforward because that saves time and also gives a much higher quality to everything because the so software um, supports us how to find uh, the best edit uh, for the attack and um, or um, does a great job on tuning as well because when, you, when you're using software like Melodyne, for instance, then you get some artifacts into the samples and that's what we don't want to have in samples. And uh, we have a special uh, tuning software now developed, which um, enables us to tune based on um, on the resampling. So we just um, make the playback a little bit faster, a little bit slower, and those kind of things are built into a custom software, and that really helps to save time, but also to um, to rise the, the overall quality of our products a lot. Would it, would it be possible to tell us some uh, films, some trailers that have been done using your your software? Oh, I, I can't tell you about it. I mean, we have a lot of customers who are doing a great job on trailers, but it's it's hard to to hear um, where our products are really used, and probably I'm not allowed to, to speak right. about that. Yeah. Because they want to keep the illusion that it's real. Yeah. <laughs> Could you show us on a screen here what it what how your product looks on a, on a screen? Yeah, sure. This is Metropolis Arc Four here, and. Um, yeah, it's, it's divided into um, into five different sections. So the first fact section is the full orchestra, where we just merge different sections just to make it able to, to play everything um, across the keyboard. And um, I hope that we get some sound here. I want to go see that film right now. <laughs> Great, yeah. It's just a few chords, but um, the cool thing is you have access to the whole ensemble which we have captured. And um, then we have just, just, the, just the strings. That sounded fantastic, by the way. Thank you very much. And um, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's load the power sustains. And, and those are really captured uh, very over the top and very... Uh, Do you hear the attack on it? I can also hear the room in that. I mean, there, there's an acoustic context. In this. Yeah, so is that correct? right now we, uh, we, we have different microphone positions and what you hear is the close mic and the tree, the Decca tree, which is a kind of a room mic. When we just, um, when we just mute the close mics, that's the sound of the, of the tree itself. And um, if we just dial in the close mic, So it's much more direct, and you have a lot of flexibility. With we also have an AB microphone setup. We have surround mics in it, and you can control it by your own. And with our new sample player, which will come out this year, you will be able to merge different microphone positions into one mixdown rendering, and that really, yeah, that really saves resources on top. Let me ask you, how much? This is a professional package. How much would this cost? How, is it? Do you buy it outright? Is it a subscription model? How are you doing? Um, you can buy it on orchestraltools.com, and um, Metropolis Arc Four is right now. We have an introductional special. I think it's three ninety nine, 
and um, normal price will be 549 and uh, the deal will end um, I think end of January so those are the really very last days uh, of our deal now okay. um, and and so if someone wants more information about your products where would they go online on um, orchestraltools.com same one okay all right Edric uh, Schwarzer thank you so much for giving us an introduction to your wonderful product. Of course, and thank you very much for stopping by. You're welcome. NAM 2019.